and our own spirituality community here on TikTok. So make sure that you follow and like, okay? Okay. So, so make sure you follow because we're a family now. You don't get to choose family. Surprise, this is what you got. So, <laughs> so October 6th at 1 p.m., I'm gonna be having promos. I'm gonna do 20% off. I'm gonna be doing giveaways. I am working with the affiliate program here. So if you're in the affiliate program, make sure you look at Orcware. So I'm gonna send out samples and select affiliates to represent the brand. I'm assuming I'll give away like a unisex hoodie, I'll give away like a crop hoodie or a crop sweatshirt, um, and all you'll have to do is be in the live and comment to win. I am Perry Uwanowicz, the designer of Auric Wear for anyone that's joined the live. I design all of the graphic prints for my small business. I started and launched in 2020 after a psychic vision told me that something like the pandemic was coming and I needed another way to make money. So from Christianity to Islam to Judaism to even Wicca, witchcraft, I wanted to have something for everyone, no matter what your style is, but no matter what your faith and practice is. Graphic tees, hoodies, sweatshirts. There's also crop hoodies and sweatshirts. The products are made specifically for you when you order Auric Wear. Um, so that is good for the environment that we're not filling up the landfill. She's full. She's already full. Let me know what your faith and your belief and practice is. Orgware is all about enlightened style and representing your faith to the world like you're a spiritual billboard. Hello. What a notion, you guys. And what does that do? It tells people not only what you believe and shares that faith, but it also attracts people to you who have the same kind of a belief as you, and therefore it's gonna help you build a community of like-minded people around yourself. And that's what we need in this world right now. We need more people bringing us back to reality and telling us, hey, snap out of it, what would Jesus do, girl? As a small, tiny business and one person, you know, I designed everything. I made the website myself. I did all the social media myself. I made some TikTok filters all by myself. It's a one-man show. So it's kind of hard to like grow your business, you know? So I'm excited for TikTok because I feel like this is an opportunity, you guys. So like the video if you're excited for me. I am so excited to put my products up here. They're all shoppable here. I am so excited to start doing the lives. This is my first live. I want you guys to like, I want you guys to follow, please, because I'm a tiny little baby business. I'm trying to do everything by myself here with no money, honey but it's on blank. So everything is on a Bella canvas, which is really high quality, really soft feel. The prints are very soft. This feels like it melted into the fabric, which is very nice. They are very warm. I grew up Baptist, Christian. I was Catholic as a kid, so that influences a lot of my designs, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam overlap a lot in sacred geometry and these sorts of spiritual designs. So let's say you wanna to go to the gym and, the, and then go on and about your day. I am wearing the Auric Wear Flower of Life leggings, which are not here on the shop, but you can wear them under shorts. You could wear a t-shirt with that. You could throw a hoodie, a crop hoodie, whatever your style is over that. And then you go from your gym to your athleisure sort of out and about on your day so with the t-shirts you can dress them down you can dress them up you could put it under a button up you could put it under a blazer you could pair it with slacks versus jeans so i like to wear my faith or my spirituality all throughout my day so the flower of life leggings is a sacred geometry print just like the tree of life here this is my elemental tree of life design how many genders are there Oh, you mean like philosophically? I think as many as you want. Auric wear is all about respecting everybody's beliefs, you know? We've become a little too PC right now in the world, like if you agree. Um, you know, I'm trying to be aware and respectful of everyone, and we're trying to learn how to respect whatever somebody's gender is that they want. So I think there's as many genders as you want. In my clothing line, I represent gender for unisex male female but you know unisex male female there's some wide range there for the spectrum you know so you know if you're on a different side of the spectrum you might want a crop top a crop hoodie a crop 
sweater, you might want a unisex hoodie. This can be worn by whatever gender you represent. And again, they are very soft, warm, comfortable. The prints are comfortable. And we're gonna discuss how to layer Oracle separates underneath, um, you know, hoodies, underneath crop hoodies, underneath crop sweatshirts, um, but also how I like to layer for fall, which is a, a very open weave knit over a tank top or over a muscle tee. And I, I do love that design. So I had a celebrity actually order this design. She loved it. So I don't want to say who the celebrity is, but she's a very famous person from a popular sitcom. Uh, I want to say that sitcom is um, sci-fi-ish. Can't be 100% sure. That's, that's my understanding of it. Uh, but yeah, the celebrity loved my line and she was like, oh my God, this is exactly what me and my boyfriend love. We're into hiking and nature and Native American prints and all of this stuff and spirituality. So she thought it was kind of weird that my line covered all of those things that they're into, you know, um, like the spirituality and the faith, but also the different mixing of the cultural references within those faiths. So I was so excited. I sent her out a lot of stuff, including the Tetramorph Totem, which was her favorite design. So she wanted that for her baby. She wanted that for herself. She wanted that for her boyfriend. And they, you know, they never posted in them. But I was so excited for my little celebrity order. Um, and I'm going to take that one to the grave. Like, I'm not going to tell y'all who it is, even though she's got millions and millions and millions of followers. Ugh! Girl, I wish she would have posted. And we're talking about being spiritually enlightened and representing that spirituality to the world like a billboard in enlightened style. We're not talking being boring. We're not talking being demure unless that's a part of your faith. And if that is, we got, the, we got you. We got long sleeves. We got hoods. You could cover it all up, honey, but in light and style. So a lot of my designs go into different faiths and practices. This is the elemental tree of life, and it covers things like the elements in witchcraft. It covers things like tarot and occult uh, because it is the tree of life related to Kabbalah. And the Kabbalah's tree of life is our roadmap for our spiritual journey on this plane, in this life. We have started down here. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. Okay. And now we're trying to get to God up here. And this is our little roadmap. So the tarot and those little Hebrew symbols are a roadmap. So let's say you pick the card out of the tarot, like this one here. This is the moon. She would be somewhere on here telling you, this is where you are, this is where you're trying to get the moon daydreaming, psychic intuition, trusting your intuition. That's where you gotta go on this map to get to where you're going. So that's how this tree of life works. That's how the tarot major arcana works with this. And that's some part of Judaism, Christianity, Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah. And it also relates to Islam. And I have another design. I kind of got into Jewish mysticism, and that's how I landed into the Kabbalah and into the Tree of Life, and then incorporated that into my brand and my designs. So I kind of dabble in all faiths, kind of, practices and faiths. So like, I have read the Tarot, I've studied the Buddha, I've read Taoism, uh, I meditated, I've looked into the chakras, but I also was raised Christian and Baptist or Catholic as a kid, you know? So I have these different references and different points of view uh, with that background that I brought to Oracle. Thank you guys for the likes, I appreciate it. Or for somebody who's in the LGBTQIA Elemental P community, that might be a great gift. Elemental P, honey. If you know an Elemental P, and it might be Elemental P month, then these designs might be good for that. But if you're into the chakras and yoga and meditation, then these are also good for those types of people. So if you're a hippie and you're Elemental P, perfect gift, right? Because that's enlightened stage. Please like and follow because I do want you guys to come in for the real live on the 6th at 1. I am doing the fall promo and we're going to be very involved in styling together with you guys. I want you guys' input in designing my lookbook and I want your personal style to be referenced in our mixing and matching of separates for that lookbook. So I hope you guys will come in and help me with that.